Honestly, I don't know why I'm so fucking shook by this, but I am shook, girl. So any day now, Khloe Kardashian is about to have a baby. If you know me, if you've watched my channel, if you have followed me on socials, which I'm sorry I'm not so active on anymore, but you know I love the Kardashians. I love that they've built this empire out of just being who they are, whether you love them, whether you hate them, whatever. They're constantly talked about. They're basically royalty in America for doing nothing. And to me, they are the OG of this, of vlogging, of reality TV. I mean, I know there was other stuff before them, but I feel like they're the first people that literally people were like, oh, give me more. So like I said, whether you love them or hate them, I don't really care about it. I'm not here to listen to why you think that the Kardashians should give more money for this or why you think they should act this or that way or why you think they this or that. I don't give a fuck about your hate for the Kardashians. That's for yourself to figure out whatever your problem is on why you hate random people you don't like. Now, I don't love them so much I'm going to give up my life for a Kardashian or do anything crazy or be a crazy Kardashian fan, but I'm also not one of those people that need to walk around and go, oh, Kardashians, because I'm so miserable with my life. I need to project my hate onto somebody else. I'm not such a jealous bitch that I need to hate on people with beauty, success, fame, etc., etc., money, whatever, whatever. I don't need to do that. So if you need to do that while you're here, just go ahead and let yourself out because we're not going to talk about that today or your comment won't even get approved. So now that we have that out of the way, as you guys know, I love the Kardashians. I watch the Kardashians. I'm not as hot on them right now as I like was or whatever, but I love their fashion sense. I, you know, we just talked about all of that and that's not really what the video here today about. It's about, it is literally about the fact that, okay, Khloe Kardashian literally laying in bed whatever proverbially to get ready to have a baby you know the last few weeks are super critical important shit like that as far as not doing too much not flying she moved to Cleveland which I mean Cleveland is one of the it literally I always tell people Cleveland is the shit hole of America like it is such a shitty fucking place sorry to offend anybody that lives there but get out into the real world girl and you will see that that is a shit fucking hole there's a reason why the football team is called the Browns. Okay? So Chloe picked up and moved from LA to move to Cleveland to be with her superstar NBA player, which by the way, if you don't watch NBA, he's not really that good of an NBA player. Actually, fucking Steph Curry, who was short as fuck to him, out-rebound him all the time. So let's just get on this. Tristan Thompson is not some like basketball player, okay? He like needs the Kardashians to keep his name. Let's just, let's just be real about that. So Chloe, we figure, has finally found the love of her life, seemingly when you see pictures and videos and all of this. And you know, she was like scared to even talk about dating anybody for a hot ass minute because she got heartbroken so, so bad. I mean, hell, she took Lamar Odom back how many times after he was caught cheating over and over in brothels, drug addict, th shit like that. Like literally gave him every opportunity in the world, kept forgiving him. And then she finally moves on and this is what she moves on to. We all think she's super happy. Chloe is glowing all the time before pregnancy. She was just seems so super happy and all of us were so happy for team Chloe. As we all know, Chloe had a hard time getting pregnant. She's always wanted a baby, always wanted a family kind of thing. Didn't get pregnant with Lamar Odom. We see now like, oh, well, maybe that was all like, you know, once you find the one and whatever it works, you know, she's even said that like, well, she knows now why God was waiting because she found the perfect da 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 and now here we are finding out that literally this weekend, a couple days ago, while she's at home getting her bed rest and shit, he's out fucking Instagram hoes. By the way, what is that now with all of these rappers and stars and whatever cheating on their famous women with these Instagram models, models and stuff, um, like, don't these guys realize that this is going to come out to light? Don't they realize how petty bitches are? And it's not even about being petty. Let's be honest. Let me tell you something. I don't care how rich and famous and hot you are. If you step to me and I know, like, someone can, people can say all they want. They didn't know Tristan and uh, Khloe Kardashian were an item. These bitches are saying, okay, so, okay, okay. Anyhow, 
I guarantee I would put him on blast so hard. You guys don't even know. I would do exactly. Remember that follower? Remember that follower of Trisha Paytas that saw Sean out in the gay club and literally Snapchat and sent it to Trisha? Yeah, I would be that fucking bitch had I seen Tristan Thompson out at a club fucking putting his hands on puss and having girls rubbing on his dick. Okay, I'm pretty sure that that wouldn't come out right now the week before she's about to give birth or around the time she's going to give birth. Bitch, I would have put that out when it happened back in October. So, let's just get off. We're already like into this, but let's let's give the timeline here. Okay, so apparently Tristan Thompson is a serial cheater He has cheated on Khloe Kardashian from day fucking one which we are all fucking shook and shocked about because oh my god He was the one he was the nice guy everybody, you know, and now we're finding out uh, He's not so nice. The only nice thing about him is he can put on a fake smile and pretend like most of the world to be quite honest if we remember correctly, Tristan Thompson and Khloe Kardashian started dating back in 2016 when he was just two months shy of having his first baby with his then girlfriend. Now, a lot of people are coming for Khloe going, oh my god, karma's a bitch. What do you expect? What do you expect when you cheat with a man on his pregnant girlfriend? What do you expect from him? Well, first of all, I agree with that. What the fuck do you expect? But why are we blaming Khloe Kardashian? Just because you hate the Kardashians, you want to fucking put blame on Khloe Kardashian? That's disgusting. Women needing to tear down other women and using a man cheating to tear down another woman, that's disgusting, okay? Now, all you bitches have dated some shysty ass motherfuckers. You can all act like you haven't, but we've all dated those motherfuckers that lied, told us the sky was pink, and we fucking believed it, okay? So, let's say that mm, back in 2016 when he started seeing Khloe Kardashian, he says, Girl, I'm only like hanging out with her still because we're having a baby. It was an accident. We didn't mean to. We don't know the fucking bullshit he told her. We don't know the bullshit he told her. And for us to act all self-righteous like, well, Chloe knew he was cheating. First of all, they were just hanging out at first too back then. Let's be honest. And you got to believe face value what a person's telling you when you're talking to them. Now, would I fuck with a dude that's got a pregnant girlfriend or wife or baby mama or whatever the fuck you want to call it? That's They've been together supposedly for a while and all that. Girl, I wouldn't fuck with it. I wouldn't want to be in, involved in all that drama, but she did. Now, I've always wondered over the last year and a half where the fuck this baby is. Why does Tristan Thompson not one time ever recognize he has a son? Actually, I saw on Ellen when Chloe was talking about it, she mentioned Tristan having a child, but like, is he a good father? Well, I don't even think he's in the kid's life, so I don't really think he's such a good father. Okay, so that was like kind of, to me, that right there is... A warning sign in itself to me but you know people see what they want to see guys we wear rose-colored glasses when we're in love we do that when we want something so fucking bad and when we think we finally have it we will literally turn a blind eye to certain things there's all kinds of rumors going around about this person flying here obviously Chloe can't leave um, Cleveland now because she's literally like the the reports today is that she might have went into early labor nobody knows she went ballistic when she heard these things but you know there's a whole other side of this that people don't even consider like they might have an open relationship I don't feel like they do I don't know I don't know them but we don't know that they don't have an open relationship I know people with open relationships that you would never think had them so we don't know what their situation is but my gut my gut tells me it's not an open relationship that he just got caught cheating not only did he got, get caught cheating over the weekend with a girl that you can it you go like well there's no real evidence there's a there's a video clip of what you think is Tristan Thompson maybe kissing her, you can't really see the girl on the weekend. But to be real honest, there's not a whole lot there. You have to reach and you have to go, yeah, they went back to the hotel several times together and yeah, they look like they were cozed up and kissing. And yeah, there are reports of people who were in the same club. Apparently, um, this girl is a bartender and drink girl or something in a strip club in New York where they were playing over the weekend. And she went back to Four Seasons Hotel with him back and forth and whatnot. There are of course other people who come out and try to pretend they are that girl, although they've said it's some other Laney or I don't know. I don't really fucking care to be quite honest with you. And then when after that came out, then clips of him literally like it's definitely him that back in October when they were playing the Washington Wizards in DC, he was at a bar literally letting girls rub all over him, him with his hands in between a girl's crotch, him with his face in a girl's titties and stuff, and um, them rubbing on him, and it's it's pretty crazy. It's three girls, actually. There's two on one side that he's making out with and one on the other side of him, and they're literally high-fiving and shit because 
let's be honest, they knew what the fuck was up. And what's crazy is one of the girls came out, the one of the girls in that situation came out and said, oh, we didn't even know. Nobody knew Tristan Thompson was with Chloe. They didn't know it was serious. Back in October when she was three months fucking pregnant, bitch, right around the time they announced pregnancy, right around actually the time that TMZ reported they were pregnant. But that girl acts like she didn't know Chloe Kardashian and Tristan Thompson were an item. And I want to be like, maybe they don't. Like, yeah, okay, girl, that's what I was about to say. But literally, I was talking with Barry today and he didn't even know. He knows who Tristan Thompson is because we all watch basketball. Ball, all my friends and whatever here watch basketball. So he knew Tristan Thompson was, but he did not know that he was with Khloe Kardashian. So maybe she didn't know. And the main reason I really wanted to come here today is to talk about the internet and how people are reacting. And what I mean by the internet and how people are reacting is the discussion disgusting amount of hate but like yeah there are a lot of supportive people for chloe of course but the amount of hate blaming her a pregnant fucking woman for her piece of shit dog and ass man cheating on her they're telling her it's karma for him doing it to that jordan girl that he was with at the end of the day guys if a man really loves you and a man really wants to be with you and care about you he will not put you in that situation period okay and you don't want to be with a man that does that kind of stuff speaking of the reports are now we don't know anything once again the reports are chloe will forgive him and they'll try to repair this and he's he's a serial cheater apparently all his friends know that it's just kind of known so I don't know guys, I'm disgusted at the way the internet, which is, once again, why I'm not like sitting on the internet scrolling all the time now because I just happen, now I am obsessed with this, I won't even lie, I won't even lie about that. Like I'm obsessed with this so I go looking, but then you see all the people saying the trashiest fucking shit, the trashiest shit, it's like disgusting. And it just shows me how much hate is fueled in our society and that we use things like this simply to lash out over some kind of hurt that we've experienced or are currently experiencing and projecting onto others. And actually Tristan's ex posted this yesterday, which I'm gonna put on here, and it says, if you respect yourself and you respect others, you would never make light of the misfortune of anyone, nor would you feel indemnified when it comes at the expense of others, wishing peace for everyone. And that's really and truly the way it is. That's a good woman to be able to come and say that instead of being like, oh, karma's a bitch. And that's another thing. A lot of news outlets are like, oh, you know, I fucking hate Perez Hilton with his stupid ass fucking ass. Him coming out like, oh, you know, she's the, she, his ex is coming out saying like, karma, karma, karma. No, Perez, get your facts straight. This girl's a classy bitch. So anyhow, that's really all I have for you guys. I just figured like, I just want to talk about this because you know I love the Kardashians and really at the end of the day, the backlash is really, really what I was here to talk about. Of course, it just gets into like long rambling conversation because that's who I am. Also, Lamar Odom has spoken out and said that he feels really bad for her no matter what happened between them and whatever. So do you think Khloe Kardashian will take back Tristan Thompson? I think she will. I think it's going to be tumultuous. It's all going to be news. Everybody's going to be like this for the next fucking year of their life. And actually, he has a game tonight in Cleveland. I'm curious how that's going to turn out. Like, is he going to show up? Is he going to be at the hospital? Is he going to be allowed to be at the hospital? She's in his home in Cleveland. Like, oh my God, there's so many things going on. So it's definitely something that's going to be trending. Isn't that sad? For the next little bit, I'm sure. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me. And until next time, be nice to each other. Because remember, nobody likes a fucking asshole. Bye, guys.